My name is Penny. I'm from Sadieville, Kentucky, and uh, I wanted to share a story of compassion and that has guided me. And I'm still not sure what direction, but it's taught me to love and to meditate and to the, how much more a part of something bigger I am. There was a young man who uh, we helped. He came. He, he came to our attention through a local church, and he was taking care of his handicapped sister, who um, was quadriplegic, and he also had a son. Their parents had abandoned the brother and sister, and so he, at 19 years old, had a young son and a quadriplegic sister. We helped him with utility bills. We went over to visit with him. We talked to him. They had nothing, and it broke my heart. And we did this for an extended period of time. Out of love, out of compassion. And one day, I picked up the newspaper and found that the young man had been arrested for a charge of abuse of a corpse. And the corpse was his sister who had died accidentally and he was afraid because he would lose her disability he would lose his place to live so he carried her around in the trunk of his car I have never felt my heart break so deeply as when I read that story he was in jail I knew he couldn't afford an attorney. I didn't know what happened to his son. He was a child himself. And the only thing I knew to do was to send people I knew who could get into the jail to talk to him, to pray for him. I meditated daily. Yeah, with him and my thoughts and wondered why there wasn't something that I could do. And it came to me in a very modest way. And it's merely to love people, love people every day. And even though my action may not be directed, it's to a greater heart.